Hey, this is Rajendran from Market Calls and welcome to short tutorial on how to export any broker database to NinjaTrader 7 format. So here is a quick tutorial and uh, in order to do that, I'm going to discuss about the methodology how to how you can import your uh, AMI broker database into NinjaTrader ASCII format. So before getting into that, all you need to do is you just get into uh, uh, Google and just type NinjaTrader and ASCII format, ASCII format. So uh, NinjaTrader supports a couple of uh, ASCII formats. One of the ASCII formats is uh, the tick formats. So you can see the tick formats where if you can import using, if you have any tick level data, you can import it and minute bars so they have a minute bar format and they do have an uh, daily bars format as well right so all these timestamps are nothing but in gmt format so if you have an ist time zones or any other uh, country's time zone first you need to convert your data into an uh, gmt format right provided by the open high low close volume so this is the format they supported especially if you want to migrate your database from any other format to ninja trader right so what i had done i mean what my coder had done is uh, just click on to the new analysis tab my coder had done with a simple simple ami broker afl code to export into ninja trader format of course in gmt time zone right and uh, we have a little path over here where the data is going to get saved. So C drive ME data, right? So if I go to C drive ME data, I will be getting an, uh, I, can, I have to create a two folders named daily and minute where my minute charts and the daily charts are going to get exported, right? From ME broker database in an ASCII format, which supports uh, Ninja Trader format as well, right? So. Uh, minute bars and uh, I mean minute folder and daily folder you have to create it in case if you are not creating it and once you're done with that you just scroll through the uh, there is a little there is a small uh, settings over here you just click on the settings and you'll be uh, provide an option to choose or flip between daily or minute if you choose minute the minute data get exported if you flip to daily a daily data gets exported so let me flip as of now with the minute charts and uh, let's say I want to import minutely bars from for the symbol Punjab National Bank PNB hyphen I dot NFO it's of course in a future script and in, of course I don't want hyphen I dot NFO so I'm just going to remove that string over here I'm going to remove the string and uh, I'm just going to name the file as PNB dot uh, txt right so all I need to do is once the setting is done, the, the minute settings is done, I have to get into the actual settings over here where I'm going to select which time frame I want to import. Let's say I just want to import one minute timestamp, open high, low, close values. I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press Explore for the Punjab National Bank. So now what is going to happen is the AMI broker database for the PNB charts, it's going to get exported into the AMI data folder which we are seeing over here in the minute charts you'll be seeing this uh, Punjab National Bank which is converted into an ASCII format right so it's of course an uh, ninja trader data format as well right and once you're done with that you can also similarly do with the daily charts as well you can also import daily bars as well especially who want to uh, study if you have a uh, certain indicator which are not with ami broker but then it's there with ninja trader and preferably you want to convert your database from ami broker to ninja trader it's good it should be a uh, helpful uh, stop okay let me switch back to daily so once i done with the daily over here from the parameter box i'll go to the settings and i'll again switch the PDRCT to daily over here now the exported symbols right the exporter symbols will be now sitting inside the daily folder so daily folder will have that complete complete data for pnb right and uh, to import it all you need to do is you have to fire the ninja trader 7 version right you fire up the ninja trader 7 version go to tools go to historical data manager once the historical data manager is loaded, all you need to do is just click on the start import and then select PNB.txt uh, file 
uh, inside your path ame data minute folder now press open all you all you'll be getting is just historical data import successfully a box it just pops up now press ok now close the historical data manager and get back to file new charts and try to open the chart and try to look into it pnb right that's the data series name and try to open it and all you'll be getting is a nice clean uh, chart which you can change the time frame and uh, you can uh, start applying the indicators right so i guess this video is uh, quite informative if you find the same video informative just click and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you